Good afternoon to you. Hope you're having a good day. I know I'm having a good one. We, How can we not have a good day when we have Lucy Thomas right before? We're just about to witness perfection, people. Unchained Melody. Thank you, Colin. Dude, keep them coming. Keep emailing me. Let me know when she drops. I, I got to stay on top of her, her lineup for, for sure. And I remember going to see... I was looking through my other videos just now looking because I thought for sure we did this song with Angelina Jordan, but for some reason I can't I can't find it. So I think YouTube probably struck it and took it down. But let's hope this doesn't happen here with Lucy. I do remember Angelina was like in a, if you guys remember, if, if, if you've seen it, I think she was like in an antique shop or something, um, reds and golds and that kind of stuff. I think she was wearing a red dress at the time or something. But I, I remember, I thought I remember listening to her version which is just an incredible cover and now and now ladies and gentlemen boys and girls from all ages here we go Whoa. Listen to her low notes. You see? She just, dude, she just lands those low notes with just lovely depth. I mean, just really deep tones Uh, every time, every time. And she's just seems pitch perfect. Now, some of you have mentioned that you think that she uses auto-tune. Okay. Okay. What about her other performances where she's live? Perfect. It's perfect. And you can kind of sometimes tell if there's some post um, in here. Um, Sometimes, like if you can hear lip smacking or, you know, different, uh, different artifacts audibly, you can hear different artifacts with Lucy's uh, song sometimes. You can you can hear the little things. So if they're going to go to post to to uh, tone up her auto or you know auto tune, why wouldn't they you know clean the whole thing? You know. So I don't know. Maybe some of them are auto tuned. Maybe not. I like to think they're not, <laughs> just because she's just such a perfect vocalist. Could be possible though. Um, I would love to know. Instead of opinion out there, is there anyone that has bona fide factual proof that that's been the case? Alas, I may never know. Lonely time. Okay, wow. Oh, gosh. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Okay, first of all, the instruments, the piano, keyboard, mm, it's a little, mm, it's, I I would have, we'll see where it goes. We'll see if it's going to pick up from where, from where we're at right now, as far as her instrumental choices here, but her vocals Lucy I mean Lucy Lucy (laughs) I'm just dumbfounded I'm dumbfounded she I'm sorry folks she's my favorite musical vocalist period although darn it Haley Reinhardt's pretty darn good too obviously Angelina they're all incredible but mm, Lucy Come on. She's just amazing. 
just amazing. Let's see where the instruments go. I'm not too keen on it yet. Let's see if we pick up some more instruments in the background. I need your love. Well, I like the way she let it, ended it up high on that. To the sea, to the sea, to the open arms of the sea. Yeah. Wow, I gotta hear that again. I gotta hear it again. Sorry. The rivers flow to the sea, to the sea, to the Slight little uh, adjustments to the melody. I guess it's unchained. <laughs> but I'm just saying, um, she's, she's throwing her little Lucyisms in, Lucyisms in there. Little subtle changes, comfortable to make it her own, venture away from the beaten path of the melody that's being sung, and just throws in her little, little knickknacks left and right. She's pro. She's pro. I mean, again, can you imagine her in 10, 15 years? See? Interesting. I'll be coming time i mean look at how she oh goodness gracious pick your arm pick your pick your your goose bump <sighs> this is so good this is so good this is ah oh, man Okay, on time. Sorry, I lost my train of thought. Lonely time. L listen to how she's like, she is, on the word time, she just went from fifth gear in her Porsche to sixth gear. <laughs> and now we we will unpack what is just about to happen to all of us here in a second. I can just sense it. Lonely time. Let's go.
she kind of she ran out of wind there toward the end, but she held the strong note to the very end. You could see it's just like she took the breath afterwards, but oh wow, Lucy, come on now. Look, look at her smile. Uh, just look, you could totally, totally see. I love how she is really just getting comfortable with the camera. She's getting comfortable with her performances and expressing herself physically. She's kind of like just, just not just standing at the mic singing, but just into it, you know, and she's so beautiful, beautiful voice, incredible, incredible I don't know how else to describe it. The vocal gymnastics. I like to just use that because it's like it's springboard stuff of what she's able to do is just in, insane. Wow. Ten. Easily. Easily. Th this is probably one of her best performances. I remember when I was a kid. Um, story time. It's been a while since we had story time. Um, when I was a kid... And freshly divorced from my, my mom and dad were divorced. And I remember I was just a kid playing this on a 45. Um, and in my bedroom on a little record player, like a kid's record player, like I was probably only 10 or 11 and yeah, I love the song. And it's the only time in my entire life that I saw my mother upset. She probably had a little bit too much to drink, going through the divorce, depression, trying to find her way. And I think she was just stressed, came in the bedroom and broke the record. <laughs> like she broke the record. I'm going, what? Like, what did I do? Right? And I remember that because it's like, it is the only time ever that I saw my mom get pissed. Just like, she just had like a moment, right? <laughs> like anyone else does. But it's like, so hearing this song always, always rushes me back. You know how that goes. You know, you hear these songs. I'm sure the original version to just springboard would be right back to that day. But it's like, it's interesting I only mention that because isn't it interesting what the things we remember as children, right? And it was such a benign experience. It was like, it hurt my feelings. And I was like a little shocked because I never saw my mom upset like that before. Um, but it's like, it stands out to me this day, that small little event. I can remember it like it was yesterday, right? So it's just another reminder to me so like, you know, I've said some things and done some things with my kids before I've told you guys in the past story times that we've had in, encounters and stuff with each other. And, you know, we as adults take what we say and do around our little munchkins pretty, pretty flippantly thinking, oh, it's not going to bother them. It's not going to affect them, whatever. But it's interesting, right? How some of the smallest little things just stick. Anyways, weird story time. But alas, Lucy, love your your content to death. You're awesome. Keep humble, humble young lady. Keep humble. Don't let Hollywood get to you. I keep telling you every time, but you got it. You're on it. Wow. What a performance. See you next time. See ya.